but I can't say enough about sawtooth guitars. They're part, they have sawtooth guitars, sawtooth basses, sawtooth drums. Uh, they do all sorts of things. They've got Chromacast, it's a parts company. Uh, and then they have a music store called Go DPS. It is a really incredible conglomerate of companies uh, that Sawtooth is. <laughs> This is the first year that uh, Goat DPS music and Chromacast and Sawtooth Drums has been here. What a great job they've done. Check. One, two, check. One, two. Check. thing I listen to when I listen to a good acoustic is the low end and it's really got a great low end on this guitar and uh, I just love playing it. All right everybody can feel this one right? Hey, I woke up this morning and I got myself a beer. Hey, I woke up this morning and I got myself a beer. Sanchez's brother. <laughs> He'll be here later on. So this is my signature sawtooth bass that we designed along with uh, Joe and the crew from Sawtooth. This is a, an original design, which means there is an actual mold that was created at the factory specifically for this bass. So there's a lot of new features that we wanted to add. I just wanted to demonstrate the growl, the tone that it has in different spots. And one of the things that you probably notice is that there's no dead spot anywhere on the neck. You know, you're gonna have I go up the neck. Okay, do we have any questions?
happy now, everyone. It's all too. Glad to be here. Here I'm holding my uh, signature model, the uh, Salty Voodoo. By the way, I'm Robert Sarzo, and they call me Voodoo Man. Song since we uh, we shared the same bedroom. <laughs> so, anyways, this is Robert and Rudy. We're the Flying Sarso Brothers. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This is the snare gun that got me in big trouble. It's a hickory wood. It's a beautiful snare gun. That's his the way it sounds at now. Too loud! Too loud! Anyway. <laughs> Nice clean snare drum, nice clean sound. I usually use a five and a half inch drum, but this one sounds so good. I use this uh, live now too. It's strong, it's got a great throw off, and the hickory wood sounds great. <laughs> Thank you for coming out. You're in the presence of rock royalty right here. Is everybody ready to see Michelangelo Badio and his string dampener demo on the double guitar? Yes! Had to do that. I've been to a lot of NAMMs, and uh, one of the reasons is this guitar. I came up with a really crazy idea a long time ago. Steve I did it. He gave me credit for it. Um, it's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. 
Uh, I've always had pointy doubles, and now I, I tried, we tried something that's not too so radically different, but it's two basically Telecasters that we retweaked, and uh, it's really cool and it sounds really good. Um, anyway, no more talk. Here is the new double guitar. This is the second time I ever played this one. Yeah. First time is yesterday. So let me. Uh, Excuse me, I must prepare. I must assume the shred position, not once, but twice. All right, I'm ready.
very much. I'm Michael Angelo Badia for Sawtooth Guitars. See ya! Woo!